Mum made the antidote, didn't she? In case she had second thoughts. But she didn't have second thoughts. I hope these boots were made for looking. All off! Not as I see you! They've already started. I've got to get to the poison before they all take it.
Let's go. Let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh mind, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh mind. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not the event? What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate, the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not live in it without any sort of confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange what to you? Jesus Christ said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek moksha, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there. But if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. Throwing it over. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment, except that you're already being punished. There's no retribution, unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just want to say... That's what they're going to poison everyone with. If I've done this right, they realize the world is a lot bigger than the Garden District. Or something. Vehicle service on this line has been permanently suspended.
How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are deaf. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies. Opsiphanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Off I go to the train station. Then Don't you look to catch some butterflies.
woman gave me, and I did it. Eight. Scorch marks? Did somebody blow it up? I hope the butterfly survived. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. <gasps> Fucking a bucket. I'm not getting out that way. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. I'm going to pretend you never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? <sighs> Hiding up there, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? You're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. <laughs> I wonder if caterpillars have any inkling what's going to happen to them. I wonder if they'd choose it. If they could.
How do I get out of here? Brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. This is Royal of Wire. Mind the gap, please. I better finish that batch of Blackberry Joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. Now, if I'm not sure how... which train do I take? Just like childbirth, you barely remember the misery.
<laughs> now don't wet while I'm changing you. Look, as a poet, I mix a very good chemist. Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Oh, won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, oh, the lads of um prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle makes the world go round. F-R-E-E-D, S-A-V-E-D, from the bonds of S-I-N. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hip hooray, amen, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Oh, six foot son of drum, save another drunk and bump, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. Oh, six foot son of drum, and you'll be saved. That was wonderful. Thank you. There, lads. That should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesise a blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no. It's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. No, it's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be.
that's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. Oh, you've got a cough. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I getting at cod liver oil? Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at Mummy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. The people I need keep going mad. Am I cursed? Or is everybody generally going mad? It's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you've brightened our day. Like, uh... Like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. 
you place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally! Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. Those are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the garden district... He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. perception were cleansed.
I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After what your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I really, really... It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here. Sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Never be clean.
the sun seems to be going down. So it's time for all good citizens to... Well, the sun seems to be going down. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next war can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. You lot don't appreciate the General, because all you know... I hope the General's not in one of his old poor me moves. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle? We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French map, I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! I suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. 
You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but no. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat, but does it work? Miss Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently that makes me the General's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is... Uh, that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but yeah, it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid... <sighs> Maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Thank you. 
Well, Gwen, uh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey? There! It's easy. Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. They can't be hard to find, he's always at the pub. Well, that's enough of being here. I don't actually like long walks. Miss Boyle? Usual? Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy.